Hey guys, welcome to Data Trek, your one stop channel for all the data science and machine learning updates. In today's video, we will look at model based account recommendations at Twitter. So, basically, when you open the Twitter app, you get some account recommendations that is, whom to follow. Now, how are these account recommendations generated at the first place? I found an interesting Twitter blog where they have specified the approach they have used to generate account recommendations. In this video, we will deep dive into it. So let's get started. This is a Twitter blog that we will look into details. Model based candidate generation for account recommendations. I will add the link of the blog in the description section. And what I have done is I have copied the content and highlighted some major portions that we will look into. Model based candidate generation for account recommendations. People come to Twitter with the intention of staying informed on what's happening within their world of interest. So basically everyone is interested in some topics and they what they want, they want to get an idea about what's happening around that interested topics. Account recommendations also known as who to follow is a critical piece that helps people connect with accounts relevant to their personalized interests. For example, someone may be interested in sports. So they are more likely to follow some in sports athletes or sport media that generates sports information, right? So account recommendations, that is who to follow is a critical piece that helps people connect with the right type of accounts or people so that they keep getting their uh, knowledge about the recent happenings around their personalized interests. Behind this problem is a two-stage recommendation pipeline similar to the standard practice for machine learning driven recommendations in the industry. So basically any recommendation system nowadays in industry follows two-stage recommendation pipeline. One is the retrieval layer where some candidates are generated and followed by a ranker layer where those are ranked to so as a final recommendation. It begins with a candidate generation where a set of highly relevant candidates are retrieved in hundreds to thousands. So basically the first step is candidate generation where hundreds to thousands of people are uh, generated as the relevant candidates followed by a ranking phase where this set is ranked in real time by a machine learning model to produce the final set of recommendations which is in singles to tens so that hundreds to thousands of candidates which were generated in the retrieval layer gets uh, limited to 1 to 10 in the final ranking layer where the final recommendation is shown to the user. Now what are the problems with the previous approach? In the past decade, we have developed dozens of candidate sources to find potential relevant accounts that match people's interest. They have already many, uh, many candidate sources in the past that generates potentially relevant accounts. However, each candidate source is typically based on a narrow slice of customer information. It applies algorithms like collaborative filtering or graph extension to find ca candidates based on their particular signals. So basically the past algorithms are based on collaborative filtering or some other graph extension or expansion but they only have a narrow slice of customer information. The lack of holistic view of people interest results in candidate recommendations that are less personalized and because of this less holistic view that is not looking at the entire picture of person's interest they are not able to generate very personalized account recommendations. Now what is the solution? What solution they have come up in this work? The solution is improving the personalization of our candidate generation pipeline is to use a model based framework where we are able to add additional features such as embedding features to enhance the relevance of the recommendations. So in this approach they are using a model based framework to generate candidates and they are using some advanced features like embeddings as well. We decided on a two tower model with one tower focused on generating an embedding that reflects consumption behavior while the other focused on generating the embedding that reflects production behavior. This is the most interesting part of the approach that I found uh, very relevant and worth sharing. It's a two tower model where in one tower the user acts as consumer while in the other tower the uh, user acts as producer. So basically what that means right. So it's a two tower model where one tower focused on generating embedding that reflects consumption behavior while the other focus on generating embedding that reflects production behaviors. I will make it simple by giving, a, giving an example. I am a sports enthusiast who is interested in MMA, sports and also I am a data science professional. I am also interested in AI and the tech events happening around but I only create data science content. So the 
consumption behavior is different i am consuming sports mma boxing and tech news ai but i am only creating uh, uh, data science content that is my production behavior and my consumption behavior is different so that's the main idea there will be two tower where in one tower the user will go as a consumer while in the other tower the user will go as a producer and finally we use the dot product of the output embeddings as a proxy for the logic of the probability that a given consumer producer pair will be followed so finally the consumer embedding will come producer embedding will come and wherever the dot product is highest those accounts are recommended and how is the model trained using the actual follow relationship on our platform as a ground truth for the model during training that is the actual people who follow it how, uh, who follow the other person or vice versa those are used as the ground truth or label during the model training and during inference time uh, input a given requesting accounts consumer features calculate the consumer embedding so basically the user will come his user consumer features or consumer embeddings will be generated and k nearest producer embedding with the within the embedding space are used as recommendation so uh, a user comes his consumer embeddings are generated and out of all the pre calculated pro, uh, producer embeddings the con this person is recommended the accounts of the producers who he matches the most and uh, the the uh, few important things the producer embeddings are pre calculated one and mostly in ty this type of k nearest neighbor fast uh, fast ann search which is approximate nearest neighbor search is used and some libraries to do it are annoy or product quantizer based libraries like scanan or facebook ai similarity search etc in my uh, channel there are some detailed video covering how fast ann works you can go and check out i will also add the link of those videos in the description section and also few other uh, information like how are uh, this candidate generator uh, uh, models are trained how this new advanced ai models neural network models are trained to generate embedding that content is also available in the channel i will add the link of those videos also in the description section so this is the framework where there are two towers the two tower model where in one tower the consumption behavior of the user goes while in the other tower the production uh, behavior of the user goes with this framework we can add in personalized features to the consumer tower to better infer to a given customers interest so basically this is the consumer tower in, in if you see geo language interested in follow interested in favorite interested in recent what are the recent events the user is interested in what are what are his favorite uh, topics which other things he is interested in so this kind of personalized information or features can be added in the consumer tower with this framework we can add personalized features to the consumer tower to better infer a given customer's interest and we can also add in graph based features to producer tower that describes their aggregate audience characteristics so if you see the producer tower they have added uh, the graph features as well as aggregate features like of all the followers who are following this particular user from which location they are or uh, what type of topics they are mostly interested in this type in this way for a person who has many followers we can create the aggregated features of their followers using graph features and as well as using the do, do, using this kind of aggregates like the group by of the people who are following them so in this way they have calculated uh, interesting production behavior of the user and while in the consumer tower they have calculated personalized uh, information or features of a user and finally a dot product happens and wherever the uh, consumer embedding uh, has highest similarity with the production embeddings or we can say this user has highest similarity with those production users those production users are recommended to this consumption user that's the approach input a uh, given requesting accounts consumer features calculate the consumer embedding find the k nearest producer embedding within the embedding space that's use recommendations and in the consumer tower they have used personalized features of the customer while in the products producer tower they have calculated aggregated audience characteristics by using graph based methods and as well as aggregated features by combining all of the available input signals in a single model so single model is having everything 
by combining all the available inputs in a single model we allow our model to learn interaction between features which was previously impossible and next is what are the benefits of this framework better relevance as a result of unifying multiple signals un under a single framework pipeline online experiments showed that the proposed solution increased global engagement on our product and helped new twitter customers enhance their follow graph at the critical early stage of their journey so basically in the production it has shown gains where the experiment was evaluated on increase in the number of follow relationships and also how the global engagement i i guess that is the time spent in the app so both of uh, these metrics the uh, this new candidate generator has shown uh, significant improvement and also requirement of old heuristics so the old uh, candidate generators which were based on collaborative filtering and other methods which were not able to capture the holistic view were retired and maintaining a single pipeline reducing maintenance overhead in long run so there is a single pipeline of this candidate generators which is easy to maintain because it's a single framework which is incorporating all the holistic view of the users and paving the way for faster future iterations when exploring new signals new signals can easily be added directly to our model as features rather than having to develop the whole pipeline so basically if new features comes in uh, future or new ideas comes in future they can be added as a feature if it's a personalized feature it will go to the consumer tower if it's a aggregated feature of all the people who are following a popular uh, account those can come in the producer tower so uh, any future enhancement in the form of uh, some ideas can easily be added as a feature to this single framework so yeah uh, that's about this blog where we looked at an interesting approach where a two tower model is used for candidate generation one tower uh, captures users consumer behavior while the other tower captures producer behavior and also Uh, very smart features like graph based features and user aggregate features were used in the production tower while personalized features of the user were used in the consumer tower and when ever a user uh, logs in his consumer embeddings are calculated and uh, a fast nearest neighbor search is done with the uh, producer tower and the accounts which are most relevant are recommended and internally during the training the actual a uh, follow relationship we are used to train this model hope you like this content where we discuss this interesting approach please like and subscribe stay tuned for more such updates bye